Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down over to the PMPLC Championship Season 4. This is the fourth installment, and we're going in with a lot of things that's changed and different. Of course, before we go on anything further, the questions will be answered. One of it, of course, my name, Keith. I'll be your host for the night. It is like you can see, the group draw that will be happening later on this evening. I'm so excited for that, right? Five teams coming in from Indonesia, five teams from Thailand, four from MYSG, uh, four from Vietnam, and of course, two from the C wildcard region. Showing some love uh, for the, the, you know, the wildcard teams out there. They're usually not in the spotlight, but today they are, at least for these two teams. Now, before I move on anything further into this event and into the group draw, I would like to just thank the sponsors, our official smartphone partner, uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, Challenger Boundaries, and the official media sponsors as well, Esports Fight Club, watch and earn uh, with Esports Fight Club, alongside with WeTV, in case you didn't already know. WeTV, the platform where all Asia's best content relies and resides. So anything from anime all the way down to K-dramas and TV series, you name it, we got it. Download the WeTV app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store right about now. And of course, the big names up top who made this whole thing happen, Tencent Games uh, alongside with PUBG Mobile and of course, VSPN for powering this entire initiative. I'm excited to be here, and I know you are too. You're watching from home in the comforts of your uh, behind the screen, just staying away from COVID. That's what we're doing here too, delivering you the same experience with a little bit more precaution. So, a lot of narratives can be drawn in this, uh, this season, season four. Again, I mentioned about what's different in season four as compared to season three, and this is what's up. For the first time ever in a PMPL series, we've got ourselves a league system. So what is a league system? For the MYSG, for the Thailand uh, region, for the Indonesian region, they're more familiar with this because it's been done many, many times over. But for the C wildcard, who's never really had a league system, and this is probably gonna be uh, beneficial or too much of a, ta uh, too new of a thing for them, which could be detrimental, and I guess we'll find out. So the league system means that they are essentially more games to be played, which means teams have more games to come back from mistakes, as we've seen in every league system and league format. And also, the viewers like you will have more games to watch back at home. So congratulations, kudos to you, good thing for you, good thing for the teams playing, and good thing for me to be involved in this entire one-month grind. So I will get into more of the details later, but yes, the highlight is this group draw right here, which is going to happen in just about a bit. Now, I am wondering who is going to get the heart of the group because we know the, pair, the pairing makes a huge difference because it involves you know, on your drop spots and everything, knowing where, where, which team you're pairing into in a single group. So that one will be happening in about like 10 seconds from now, as you can see the timer. Oh, no, this side, yeah, there we go. My brain's a bit like left, right, right now, but we're getting into it, so miss you, take it away. Hello everyone, I'm your tournament assistant, Miss Yu. After 18 days of competition, we've finally arrived at the Season 4 PMPL SEA Championship. Thank you to all of our competitors and viewers for making every PMPL Country League truly exciting. I'd like to also take this chance to thank PUBG Mobile, as well as BSPN, and our other partners for helping to make this such an amazing event. Now we embark on a new journey together as we look to crown a champion for all of Southeast Asia. Let's take a look at our 20 finals teams from the Malaysia Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand and Vietnam country leagues that have advanced to the Season 4 PMPL SEA Championship. These teams qualified by being one of the top three teams from the PMPL Season 4 Country Finals. The top two teams from the Season 3 SEA Championship or top two teams from the Wild Card. The Season 4 PMPL SEA Championship will be held from October 12th to November 7th with a total of 18 match days, just like the Country Leagues. Weekday matches will happen every Tuesday and Wednesday, followed by Super Weekend matches on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Finally, the qualifying teams from all over Southeast Asia will battle it out on November 5th, 
6th and 7th in the final week for their share of the $200,000 prize pool. Now, let's break down the group draw. The 20 teams will be divided into four group draw pools depending on how they finished in the PMPL SEA Championship Season 3 and Season 4 of their respective PMPL Country Leagues and Finals. The first place team from the PMPL SEA Season 3 Championship and the Season 4 Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam and Malaysia Singapore Country Leagues will be placed into Pool 1. Next, the second place team from the PMPL SEA Season 3 Championship and the first place team from each of the Season 4 Country Finals will be placed in Pool 2. The first place team from the Wild Card and the second place teams from the Country Finals will be placed in Pool 3. Finally, the second place team from the Wild Card and the third place teams from the Country Finals will be placed in Pool 4. Once we have all our teams in their pools, we can begin our group draw. Teams will be drawn into one of five groups. Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D, and Group E. We will begin by drawing from Pool 1 and will only begin drawing from Pool 2 once all the Pool 1 teams have been placed into a group. Then the process will continue for the Pool 3 teams. And finished with the Pool 4 teams. Teams will be placed into the first available group as long as there is no more than two other teams from their region in the group. If there are already two teams from one region in the group, the team will be placed in the next legal group. This process will be followed for all the remaining groups until all of our teams are in their groups. Now that you know the rules, let's start the group draw. We've invited the PUBG Mobile Asia Esports Manager, Winky Wan, as well as the PUBG Mobile Global Esports Manager, Lexi Ma, to help us with the PMPL SEA Championship Season 4 draw. Please welcome Winky to help us draw Pool 1 team for Group A. RRQ RYU will join Group A. And now for Group B. Access Red 1 will be in Group B. Next, Group C. FaZe Clan will be in Group C. Next, Group D. D Xavier will join Group D. And finally, Group E. The Infinity will go to Group E. Now please welcome Lexi to draw our Pool 2 team for Group A. V Gaming will join Group A. And now for Group B. Ebus Reborn will join Group B. Next, Group C. Onyx Esports will join Group C. Next, Group D. Geek Fam will join Group D. And finally, Group E. Genesis Dogma Kids will join Group E. Please welcome Winky back to draw our Pool 3 team for Group A. Vampire Esports will join Group A. And now for Group B. BN United will join Group B. Next, 
Group C. Team Secret will join Group C. Next, Group D. APG Esports will join Group D. And finally, Group E. NFT Esports will join Group E. Finally, please welcome Lexi back to draw our Pool 4 team for Group A. MS Chonburi will join Group A. And now for Group B. Eagle Esports will join Group B. Next, Group C. Yangon Galacticos will join Group C. Next, Group D. Bigatron Red Aliens will join Group D. And finally, Group E. Four rivals will join Group E. Thanks to both our guests for their assistance. Now, let's take a look at the group draw results. In Group A, we have RRQ RYU, V Gaming, Vampire Esports, and MS Chonburi. In Group B, we have Axis Red One, Eboss Reborn, VN United, and Eagle Esports. In Group C, we have FaZe Clan, Onyx Esports, Team Secret, and Yangon Galacticos. In Group D, we have D Xavier, Geek Fam, APG Esports, and Figurton Red Aliens. And finally, in Group E, we have the Infinity, Genesis Dogma Gigs, NFT Esports, and Four Rivals. Let us know which group you're most excited for, and make sure to show your support for all our amazing teams. And now, I have some exciting news. October will be a fun-filled month with even more events than ever. Experience the great game modes you missed in the past. The Candy 2.0 will be back by popular demand on October 8th. Runic Power Mode will be back on October 15. Use special runes and skills to defeat your opponents. On the same day, we're bringing back one of the most popular early game modes, Survive Till Dawn. Have you ever been besieged by zombies? Get ready! The sun is setting! They are coming! October 22 will bring the return of my favorite mode, Infection Mode. In this mode, you can play as a defender of humanity or a zombie out to infect everyone. What will you choose? Don't miss your chance! Also, we'll see the long-awaited return of Payload 2.0 on October 31st with heavy weapons that can blow up houses and airplanes. Is that exciting news or what? This will be one fun-filled month. This concludes our Season 4 PMPL SEA Championship Group Draw. Our 20 teams will have until October 12th to make their final preparations when the championship begins. Best of luck to you all. Yeah, thank you very much, Miss Yu. If only you were an actual person, I'd probably ask you out on a date. Now, the question she posed to the audience, right? Which group would be your favorite? Which group would be the most exciting to watch? Never have been so difficult. Let's be honest, the group draw that, we, that happened earlier on, it's my first time watching it uh, together with you guys. So I'm just as clueless as you are. I specifically uh, keep myself out of the dark and now you've seen it. Now the question is, why is this question really hard? Why is picking your favorite group really hard? Because everything seems 
super duper balanced. Like for the most part, I think it was until the last draw, I thought that Group D had the, uh, the easier path until Bigatron Radial in come in. So now we've got one of the players from the Infinity, uh, Logan specifically on the interview, on the line here, which I, for, yeah, just to spend a little time with me and you as the audience. So without further ado, Infinity, Logan, may I have you on? What's Hello going on, Nihat. Logan? Hello. Sawari kap, brother. Sawari kap. <laughs> now, Infinity, uh, first off, just to get you into the mood here, tell me straight up, confidence level, scale of 1 to 10, where is it right now? Um, 20. 20? Yeah. There's a reason why you're super confident, right? Like, I looked yes. this guy up. I, do it, do it. People at home, viewers, go look this guy up on Liquipedia or something. He has never had a bad result throughout his entire pro career. It was top three finishes for, for the most part, except for season two where he got seven, but everything's top three. So what's the goal this time around? Um, this time our goal is to be the champion again. Champion two again. seasons in a row. Yeah. yeah. I think out of all the teams, you could make it happen. Uh, we've seen uh, the Infinity champions of last season, season three. In case you guys need a little bit refresher, they destroyed everyone. And this season, they played the country finals, end up champion in the country league, and also champion in the overall. So, it, are you not? Why do you got? Are you guys just like going in full strength, or do you still have some secret strategies that you're hiding behind? Um, I would say we're not going in full full strength yet. As I, I still think we still have some strategies that we're still keeping. Nice. So even without a, even without fooling the, showing their whole hands, they're already doing so much damage in the scene. And of course, uh, it's a team from Thailand, which we know has been very very strong. Thailand region, Indonesian region. They're all very aggressive and strong teams, and we know you can do it. But if you were to pin someone in this uh, PMPL C Championship Season 4, who do you think is one of the more tougher teams to go up against? Um, I would say... FaZe or BTR. FaZe or BTR. Thankfully, yeah. you're not in the same group with one of them, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so, but obviously groups will clash. They will need a total of 16 teams in a single map. Now, if you were to go up against FaZe, if you were to go up against BTR in a single map, fight or flight? Um, fight. Straight on. Straight on. Head on. This guy has got no, nothing to hold back here. They are who they are for the longest time. Someone's behind you. Go, go say hi to the dude behind you as well. <laughs> <laughs> he can join he's in my on the He's teammate. Stream. He has an interview too. Oh, he does? Oh, he's having one yeah. right now. So uh, congratulations on him. Now, any warnings you would like to have on the other teams competing in the PMPLC Championship Season 4? Um, I just want to tell every team that if you don't want to die fast, don't, don't pass our side because we'll kill, we'll kill you. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up yeah. just kill you. The infinity is there. Is there a limit? Is there a weakness to this team? It seems like, like the name itself, the Infinity, you have, you're not lacking any strats or any skill or any firepower. It, it, your, your talent is limitless. It's in, infinite. Is, is there a, a kryptonite to how you guys play a game? Um, actually, we feel like the kryptonite is just ourselves. We feel like there's nothing that can stop us. It's just, it depends on ourselves. Someday, like, when we, we don't fully concentrate and like try to play our best, we play bad, and then we get hot-headed, and then, then we play well. Yeah, so, just, so it's mostly about us. We are our own kryptonite. Okay, I, I actually like that answer very much. Now, just to gauge your expectations here, when you said you guys play bad, what, what is the finish like? Still top 10, 13 kills? Uh, yeah, bad is like around, if we get not over eight points, that's bad. So like if six, seven points is still bad. So like top eight is still bad for us. So if, it's, if you were to have a standard or a goal for you, your team, your teammates, what is the uh, expected amount of points you would want to rake in every map? Um, in every map, at least 10 points. That's pretty doable. 
That's pretty dual. I respect that. Very yeah. realistic guy. Eh? You know, that's why. That's how you know they can reach their goal. They're not. They're not overzealous. They're not. You know, up in the air or just just thinking out loud. They they can actually reach their goals in which they came in to do. So um, yeah, the infinity man. You guys are. You you're definitely on a hot seat right now. Are you not afraid of like teams just studying you through and through? Because let's be honest, you won season three. You racked your country finals. You got the overall champion in Thailand. Are you not uh -huh. afraid of... I, do you think there's a possibility that everyone would just study your game and, you know, stop you in your tracks? Um, to be honest, we're not scared. Actually, we, we, do know that, we do know that it would happen, that people would try to study our plans. But we're not worried because actually our team, we don't have a, we don't have a plan. We don't have strategies. We, we, we're just very adaptive. We can play with anything in front of us. Like, we can make, even how bad the situation is, we can always change it. All right, very nice. I like the attitude. You know what they say, a man who's got nothing to lose will probably not lose it because, you know, they're, they're playing with all their hearts. Now, Infinity Logan, before I send you off to the comforts of your uh, whiteboard and start strategizing now that you know that the group draw is in, any... You motivational words or uh, just send a message to your fans. Take the floor. Um, in Thai or in English? Both will do. I mean, if you could translate it, that'll be better. Okay, um, I'll start with in English. So I just want to um, motivate everyone that for those who want to be a pro esports player, it doesn't matter how old you are or whether you're too young or, or, you're, or you have less opportunity than other people. It's all about your hard work. If you work hard enough, one day you'll make it. Uh, in Thai, right? Yeah. Um, so, I'll give you all the support for me in this in the C League. I'll make it a better team. And I'll give you all the support for me. Alright, thank you very much, Infinity Logan. There you have it. The man who's made his dream into a reality, currently sitting as one of the best players to come up from the Thailand region. Thank you so much, Logan. I'll wish you the best of luck, you and your team, and may you wreck anyone in your way. Thank you. Bye-bye. So there you have it, an insight of what could potentially be the scariest team that has ever stepped foot into the PMPLC Championship. We've seen them wreak havoc in Season 3. Now they're coming in in Season 4. Bigger, better, stronger, faster. Because they just, they earned first place in country finals. They earned first place in the overall in Season 4. Although already qualified for the C Championship. And here they are again, about to do that all over again, once again. So, that is the end of the group draw. How did you guys have it? Let me know down in the comment, who do you think have it hardest? Group A, B, C, D, or E? Just buzz it down in the comments. We'll read it. I trust you. I mean, trust us. We'll read it, for sure. Once again, my name is Keith. Uh, Keith Lee or Keith Alicio on socials. And talking about socials, go follow PUBG Mobile on every social platform, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube to catch all these actions live for the next one month. Once again, this is the PMPLC Championship Season 4. My name is Keith, signing out. And to all the teams out there, have a good one.